Hello everybody, I'm here to give a quite a controversial topic when it comes to the Killzone fandom. Rico, he did nothing wrong. I totally agree with him shooting Vasari. One, it removes the only stabilizing political power in Helgen controlled territory. I mean, when you look at kills on three, they're literally falling apart and going into civil war. I know there's a bit of a whole war crimes issue here, but come on, the sorry said it himself. Earth puts him in prison. The Helgens continue to fight. They kill him. The Helgons continue to fight. Only difference between the two is, one, it's a, a sustainable war for the Helgens because they still have someone they can fight for who's alive to keep them on the straight and narrow. And by straight and narrow, I don't mean positive good vibes. I mean keep them as an intelligent fighting force. As we see in Killzone 3, bit of a spoiler here, they fall into a bit of a civil war, which lets the, the, us, the ISA, beat them because they haven't got their heads on straight. You've got your major industrial powers and research and development. They are building the weapons, the cool toys. They're not sharing it with the military because they have formed their own private military. That's Stahl, the batched insane dude who even the Helgen general who wants to replace Vasari sees as bloody insane by the end of the game because the dude wants to do the one thing that will guarantee the end of the Helgen people if he fails, and that's to attack Earth. Earth that has dozens, possibly more, there's no, I myself have not found any reference to how many orbital platforms they have, if you remember the one from Killzone 1. He wanted to bomb them to extinction with a new petrocyte nuke, which ends up getting used on Helgen, but that's for another time. But honestly, the Helgens would have kept fighting either way, but with Rico shooting Vasari, it ends things quicker because it puts them in a sort of burnout situation. Because while they have a mortar, they lack the actual governing body that can keep the people united. I mean, you've seen his speeches. There's who can match the sorry. <sighs> Overall, my point is, Rico did nothing wrong shooting the man. Sure, it's a bit of a war crime, killing a governing leader when you're supposed to take him in as a prisoner of war. But the war was never going to stop. Even after Shadowfall, we see they're still fighting each other. So once again, my final plea is, Rico, I don't get the hate for him. The man, honestly, he shouldn't have even been there. His best friend had just been killed by the Helgen. His squad was killed in kills on one. The man had legitimate issues when it came to the Helghost. It's his government that put him there. It's his government that started an illegal war. When the Earth told them, blockade them, and we'll investigate. Rico, in all honesty, chose the best option out of all the shitty options. That's my piece. Rico did nothing wrong.